Hello my dear web methods professionals. Today we are focusing on how to install software AG web methods products on Windows. I have already downloaded the web methods free trial from tech.forums.softwareag.com. The free trial includes installer, image file and license keys. If you are going to run the installer on a Windows system, you must have Windows system administrator privileges. Let's start the installation by launching the software AG installer with administrator. Once you launch the installer, select advanced options and go to the images tab. Select the checkbox and navigate to image file by clicking the browse button. Once you select the image file, click on validate image to ensure the image you downloaded is not corrupt. Proceed to the next step by clicking OK. Click Next. Accept the default, or specify a different installation directory. Confirm the host name or IP address of the machine you are installing on, and the start menu group name. Click Next to proceed. Select all products or a subset that you would like to install and click Next. Based on your product selection, required components will be automatically selected. Click Next. Starting 10.11, we have to provide default product administrator password. Here I am simply providing 1234 as it is my local system. And click next. Browse and select the license file for integration server. You can either choose external RDBMS or embedded database. If you do not provide database connection details in this step, the installation will be successful, but trading network may not start after installation. Here I am using PostgreSDB as it is already installed in my system. I have made separate video on how to install Postgres on Windows. You can check the video link in description. The connection URL is also provided in the description. Let's create a new database in Postgres and provide the same in URL. Provide the database name and login credentials to connect the database. Copy the URL, so that you can paste it in further steps if required. Click Next to proceed. Clear the first checkbox, if you are not going to use Command Central. Select the license file for Active Transfer Agent. 
you can provide the same database connection details for common directory services. Click Next. Same database connection details from TN will be used for MWS automatically. Click Next to proceed. Select the license file for universal messaging and click Next to proceed. Click Install to proceed. Product installation will start. You will be able to see the progress bar as shown. This might take several minutes to complete. You can see the list of installed products. Click on Close. We have to run the database scripts before starting the servers. Launch the database component configurator to run the scripts. Provide the database connection details which we have given during the installation. and execute the scripts for each product that you have installed. The script has been successfully executed. If you get any authentication error like this, you can change the method from scramsha256 to trust in the config file shown. Save settings and close. Let's start the integration server. Now go to security and then user management to ensure central user management is configured. Central user management is not configured here. Now go to settings, JDBC pools and edit central users. Select the database connection that we have configured and save. Once updated, you need to restart the IS to reflect the settings. Shut down the integration server and restart the system, in order to make the settings take effect. I have restarted my system. Let's start the integration server now. Let's now check if the central user management is configured or not. 
It is configured now. Now go to Common Directory Services. Click on Users. And select Administrator as shown. Scroll down to the bottom. Starting 10.11, Administrator login will be disabled for MWS. Only sysadmin is enabled by default and it uses the password provided during the installation. Clear the checkbox if you want to log in with administrator. Here I am providing dummy email ID to enable the save button. Save changes. Let's start the My Web Methods server from the Windows Start button. This might take several minutes to start for the first time. This is my web methods UI. You can use this navigation to work with B2B integration. Let's start the universal messaging server as well. Thank you.